the entire mountain swells, which means that the outer slopes get steeper. There are probably a, a succession of small earthquakes and then maybe a big earthquake that shakes loose this very steep western flank of the volcano. Almost 1,500 cubic kilometers of earth and rock plummet into the sea. On impact, the land displaces a massive amount of water. The ocean rushes back to fill the giant gap. From this cataclysmic disturbance emerges the tsunami, heading directly for Honolulu. Estimated time to impact, 30 minutes. This is the direction that a, a big tsunami would come from, uh, from, from the big island. The wave first becomes visible as it stands and breaks on a shallow bank, 40 kilometers southeast of Honolulu. You'd see the sea rear up in front of you. It would be huge. It would rise up above you the size of a building, the size of, of a, a 10-story building. Surging inland at up to 70 kilometers per hour, the tsunami slams Honolulu. Because the tsunami's energy stretches down to the ocean floor, this wave is not clean water. It's filled with sand, coral and rock. Water penetrates 16 kilometers inland before being sucked back out to sea in a lethal maelstrom of wreckage. It annihilates nearly everyone and everything in its path. 